Good day and welcome to another training session in Excel. Today we're looking at dates and the autofill function. So let's use autofill first. Um, you'll see what I've got here. I've got some numbers. I've got a shortened version of the days of the week, then the full um, name of the day and the uh, day of the week, and then two months. You'll also notice that it's in order, like Monday, Tuesday, January, February, etc. Now, what Autofill allows us to do, if I look at um, these two numbers, let's say I've got a list of 35 people um, or 35 days that I need to fill in. Usually what I'll have to do is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, I don't want to be doing that. Okay? Uh -uh. Don't have time for that. So I want a, uh, some sort of function, some sort of feature that allows me to do that quicker. So all I do is I type in the first two numbers. I highlight this and this is where autofill comes in. I move my mouse pointer to the bottom right hand corner of that range and I just drag it down and as I do that, what is it doing? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 25. Okay, there we go. So it does all of that for me. Now let's see if it works with this shortened version of Monday and Tuesday. And you can see to a degree, yes, but it doesn't work quite so well there. Let's look at the normal spelling of our days and you will see yes indeed monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and it repeats so that works 100 percent the numbers as well let's go to the months and let's go auto for auto for auto for and there we go so this is the only one and that's just because this is the shortened version excel doesn't um, recognize it because i should actually put in Let's see, Q, and let's delete the rest of this. Let's see what it does. Remember, I had Q's. So it's got Monday, Tuesday, there we go. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there we go. So if you do that, it will then recognize it and go through. So you'd have to use, even if it's the shortened version, just the first three letters. Anything more than that, and it kind of um, throws it out. Okay, so that's our autofill feature. Now, we're going on to the dates. So let's say I've got the 20th of April 2020. And you see when I press enter, number one, remember if the cell is too small, there's our error. I'm going to go through those errors in, an, in another video. But this is how it formats at the moment. Okay, so if you want to display differently, because remember it's going day, month and year. We can right click on that and go down to format cells. Now we go to the number tab and here you can see if I go to date, you'll see I have different ways in which it can display um, that have been entered there. So if I choose for example that one, uh, again it's doing this because it's not big enough. It'll be Monday 20th of April 2020. Um, and you can choose different options from there that is year, uh, month, and day. Um, so whichever one you choose. If there's something more custom, you can go to the custom section and actually do that. Year, month, day, hour, uh, month, month, year, year. Or day, day, month. You know, any, any sort of one you want to choose. Um, but that's how you would do it. And that's where you would change the date. Thank you.